Elon Musk officially announced on Wednesday that he is becoming a Republican. I'm, I'm a Republican now. In fact, here, here's what he tweeted. In the past, I voted Democrat because they were mostly the kindness party. Mm, the kindness party. But they have become the party of division and hate. So I can no longer support them. Now, watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold. Mm, mm. Uh, now, look, before I get into the absurdity that is Republicans being the kinder, less divisive party, let's go to what, what's really going on. And we know. Tesla was recently removed from a stock market index that includes companies dedicated to ESG. Now, what is ESG? It is the Environmental, Social Issues, and Corporate Governance. So, now, look, uh, Tesla stock has been, well, I wouldn't say cratering, but it has been losing quite a bit of value as of recently. And, of course, uh, Elon Musk now probably not going to buy Twitter might not even have enough money. Uh, and yet Twitter is actually, uh, interestingly enough, trying to make sure that they enforce the deal. <laughs> and so, uh-oh. Um, now the index called the S&P 500 e ESG index dropped Tesla due to a variety of factors, including relatively low scores related to codes of business conduct, the way it responded to a federal investigation after multiple deaths and injuries were allegedly linked to its autopilot vehicles, and concerns about workplace conditions at one of its factories, including uh, claims of rampant racial discrimination. Now, let me give you more details about that, because it, it appears there seems to be some lawsuits here. Now, uh, one lawsuit, there was a manager that would greet employees at Tesla's electric car factory in Fremont, California, with, Welcome to the plantation! And sometimes also say things like, welcome to the slave house to the black employees. Yeah, that, that sounds like it might be a little bit uh, problematic. Uh, now, uh, one of the people that have uh, filed a lawsuit is, called, uh, is named Rena Pierce. And she started working in production at the Fremont plant in January of 2021. So she installed latches onto, onto car doors. According to a suit filed in Alameda County Superior Court, supervisors referred to Pierce using racial epithets uh, and uh, I'm sorry, epithets and a gender uh, and sorry, gender based insults, according to the suit. Hmm. Pierce further claimed that in, in, in her suit that when a facility manager noticed she had been assigned to push two carts that were too heavy for one person. And notified her direct supervisors, one of them angrily claimed that she had gotten him in trouble and later made vulgar comments about not being able to stand black people. Hmm. Her supervisors also denied a request to switch stations despite allowing non-black workers to do so and also disciplined her more frequently and severely than they did non-black workers. She also claims the company did retaliate against her for reporting these issues. Hmm. Oh, but there's more. There's another incident involving uh, somebody named Kaylin Barker, a black worker at a Tesla Parks factory in Lanthrop. Uh, she claimed that in a lawsuit that a white coworker called her racial epithets and assaulted her. According to the suit, Tesla fired her assailant and then rehired her about two weeks later. Oops. Numerous other, of course, lawsuits. Uh, here's a couple that they lost. In October of 2021, a San Francisco federal court jury awarded a black former Tesla worker, Owen Diaz, almost $137 million after he sued the company over experiencing daily uh, racist epithets uh, in a workplace where colleagues drew swastikas and left racist graffiti and drawings around the facility. And again, there's a lot more of this very, very clear problem with racism at his company. So, you know, if you had heard something about that, maybe you would maybe you would have done something, you fired some managers, all that stuff. Uh, what did Elon Musk do? Nothing. He didn't do anything about it. And he, of course, he can claim that, oh, you know, uh, I didn't I didn't know what was going on at my own company. But then you kind of suck as a boss. Maybe get off Twitter. You know, stop tweeting so much and actually do your fucking job. Hmm. 
Uh, but now, Musk responded to the ESG ratings, saying that it's an outrageous scam. Political attacks on me will escalate dramatically in coming months. You know, maybe uh, it's not that. Maybe it's because you're trash. You know, garbage. Oh, how dare you call Elon, the great Elon Musk, garbage. It's called free speech, bitch. Get used to it. But no, here's the thing, right? So look, Musk wants to vote for Republican, or I'm sorry, yeah, he wants to vote for Republicans and become a Republican because look, he knows that the Republicans are racist and very likely won't come after him for his company being racist towards its employees. And of course, the union busting as well. Uh, he also knows that Republicans will cut his taxes, will not raise his taxes. Uh, that's usually one of the biggest reasons here. Uh, you know, that helps him get richer, of course. And he also knows that Republicans will continue to gut regulations. Regulations that he had run afoul of before. So, and of course, there's the union busting as well. Although Democrats also tend to do a little bit of union busting as well. Uh, so that said, uh, let's get to the ridiculousness now. That the left is somehow the party of division and hatred. Bro, Republicans literally tried to overthrow an election and disenfranchise 81 million voters. That's how many people voted for Joe Biden. Believe it or not, it's fact. That's a fact. 81 million voters voted for Joe Biden. So, and look, people like Tucker Carlson also constantly talk about how Democrats are communists, they're the enemy, they're coming for you, they're, they're, they're going to bring in uh, people to replace you, white replacement theory, all that nonsense, right? Uh, and so you have right-wingers out there that are, that are asking, okay, when do we start shooting? I'm not kidding. I've showed you that before. You got the Buffalo shooter who actually did shoot. Gendron talking about in his manifesto, hatred against black people, great, you know, white replacement or great replacement. And by the way, speaking of great replacement, that conspiracy theory has been adopted by nearly half of all Republicans. They all, they believe it. And in case you're unfamiliar with what that means, it means that half, nearly half of all Republicans believe that Jewish people like George Soros are funding immigrant caravans and that the Democrats are, are bringing in importing undocumented or illegals into the country in order to replace white people. That brings me back to when we talked about Charlottesville, where you had neo-Nazis that were out there chanting, the Jews will not replace us. But no, it's, it's the Democrats that are hate and, and hate, you know, full of hate and uh, division. Right, right. And look, you also have QAnon. There's a lot of uh, Republicans that believe in QAnon as well. Now, QAnon alleges that the entire Democratic Party, Hollywood, all that, they're filled with satanic pedophiles that drink the blood of children. That is absolute insanity. And yet you have a significant number of Republicans, even elected officials like Marjorie Taylor Greene, that have espoused this conspiracy theory. But gee, I, you know, maybe Elon Musk just wasn't paying attention to basically anything. I guess he was working too hard or tweeting too much. To even notice that they were coming up with these nonsense conspiracy theories. And yes, dividing people. Or, uh, more likely, it's just he knows all this, doesn't care, because right-wingers kiss his ass. Oh, another thing is, uh, you know, uh, Democrats actually want to regulate cryptocurrency. Nah, that's another thing. And Republicans don't want to. And yet those same people, the crypto bros, the NFTers, are like, 
My all my apes are stolen. All my apes stolen. What happened? Maybe you could use a little bit of I don't know regulation. Ah, but they hate that. Uh, now look, the other thing, of course, we don't lionize billionaires because they're you know rich. I don't care how rich you are. Uh, if you have a thin skin, which by the way, this guy has. Uh, Elon Musk has some of the thinnest skin imaginable. Very, very triggered by criticism. It is super ironic for this supposed free speech warrior. Hmm. But yeah, uh, again, a lot of you, nobody's really surprised that he's a Republican. <laughs> now, I want to share some responses here because I think these are fun. Um, Nina Turner, bringing the fire. Hello, somebody. Uh, she says, framing the GOP is the anti-hate party, not even a week after the Buffalo shooting, is certainly a choice, Elon. And then adds, oh, you mean kindness to the ultra-wealthy. Got it. Mm. Mm. Nina with the fire. Uh, John Favreau also tweets, hey, man, if you want to support a bunch of electric vehicle hating climate deniers, that's on you. Yeah, you know, that is kind of weird, right? I mean, you think that if you were smart and were doing things that were pro your business, because again, Democrats are pro business, but they happen to be more pro electric vehicle and renewable energy, a little bit more so than Republicans who are pretty much all in the pockets of oil, uh, coal and oil. Um, now, uh, again, he says, not sure if, if it helps the cause that you and your team have dedicated much of your lives to, but I guess you'll get some attention on Twitter, so there's that. Now, look, uh, Republicans, I'll, I'll demonstrate how Republicans have been trying to push to kill electric vehicles for years. Uh, again, we all know that this is the case, but let me give you some specific examples. Uh, in 2019, Republicans pushed a bill to strip out tax credits for people who purchase electric vehicles. Hmm. The same bill pushed by Republicans uh, getting money from oil and gas would also tax electric vehicles more. Making it, of course, less likely for somebody to make an investment in these renewable electric vehicles. Uh, now, if you make them less affordable, what do you think that's going to do for sales of Tesla? Hmm. Now, Republicans also, uh, in the infrastructure bill, uh, forced uh, the Biden administration to massively cut back on initiatives that would, would have increased EV sales, including tax credits and charging stations. I think uh, Biden wanted to put his $173 billion into, uh, into these measures. Republicans... Four billion. Hmm. Well done. Uh, now, that's okay though. Uh, for Musk, yeah. Well, you know, at least they're nice to me. At least they kiss my ass. Even though they're effectively trying to kill his business. Well done. Well done, Republicans. Well done, Elon Musk. Y you know, they call him an intellectual, right? A visionary. No, he's nothing more than an egotistical dipshit. Now, David Rothschild uh, tweets this. Rich son of uh, rich white son of an emerald mine owner who grew up in apartheid South Africa is the real victim in our society. Mm, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Walter Masterson says, common form of gaslighting amongst conservatives. They announced that they're conservative, then blame everyone else. Oh, I can't believe you pushed me over to the right wing where I really, really wanted to go. I mean, I, I can't believe you were so mean to me that you made me give up all my core beliefs. Or maybe you didn't have beliefs to begin with. No core. Or your core was always conservative. In fact, that tweet says, The left was so intolerant that I changed my position on systemic injustice, the civil war, a woman's right to choose, trans rights, and peer-reviewed science. Once again, this is all about poor, poor, poor Elon Musk. And how the left is so mean. They're so radical. Even though the right wing has gotten way more right wing, while the left wing has barely moved. But hey, you know what? Ego is a hell of a thing. <laughs>